Hey guys, I'm Johnny on occasion, and today we're going to kill nine enemies with ranged weapons. I mean, are we? We might do, you never know. Um, it's a Technophage mission. As we do, we got we got the Dreadnought with us. I like the Dreadnought. Also the Paladin, we're trying to get him up to level nine, so we can have um, an entirely maximum leveled um, characters and equipment for eight. Eight characters, which I think we're going to do, which is pretty cool. That's quite exciting. Also, with all the stratagems done as well. Like, it's kind of crazy. We're, we've basically gone Super Saiyan. Stuff goes Super Saiyan in Warhammer 40k? It does now. Right now. Let's go. It stinks of Nurgle's filth. Then we have found what we seek. Replete with seeds, the bloom spawn will sow a foul harvest if we do not stop it now. Oh, what level is this? Well, it's a bloom spreader mission, of course it is. You know, I completely um, just like blanked that fact completely. Hey, there's some bloom spawn. So that's. Okay, bloom spawn over there. Bloom spawn over there. And we've got the bloom spreader here. So I wonder. I'm pretty sure. Does it have more health? If you don't destroy the bloom spawn? I can't actually remember what happens if you don't destroy the bloom spawn before you go for the spreader. I'm actually not sure. But the suggestion here. I suppose would be that we go for this one first and then we double back on ourselves in order to go to this one and then in or we could go right around get to the architect cache and then move it but I honestly couldn't care about the architect because we have a tech marine with I think maxed out equipment though we never use him so it doesn't really matter and we've got a uh, maxed out dreadnought so what's left to do Storm. you know Taking also, I don't think we even need to go for the bloom spawn. We can probably go straight for the spreader. As soon as we destroy that, do we then have to survive for a bit? I think we have to actually survive in a bloom spreader mission, don't we? Can't remember. Can't remember that either. Oh well. Uh, so, we're going to move up in VO first, so he can teleport when we smash through the door. Hey, you better be listening. Everything's exploding. Alright, here, come, come towards me. Look, run at me. Run at me. Hooray! Okay, now don't do the thing. I think he might have done the thing. Oh, no, he didn't do the thing. Oh, yeah, no, he doesn't care. Okay, perfect. Um, oh, that is so sad that I can get here, but not here. If I could get here with 2 AP, I could stun them both. That'd be great. That is a pity. But I could probably stun him and then shoot somebody else, which is quite exciting, I suppose. Hello there. Alright, Doomfist. We get a four strike. We have to attack him twice to get the stun on him as well, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, unless I can hit him twice, but I might knock him back. Oh no, okay, good. I was thinking he had superior knockback on Doomfist, but that's a lie. In that case, I guess I'll just hit him one more time. We'll just have the one stun. I won't shoot anybody. That's fine. Okay, good. So, uh, I am going to teleport everyone. Boop. Lovely stuff. Hang on a minute. Look at this map. No, it is slightly different. I was going to say, this looks a lot like... No, this is definitely different. Um, but no, this looks a lot like one of the... Um... God, what were those things called? The purifiers. Was it the purifiers? Yeah, we had to sanctify them. Well, they're called sanctifiers. Because, you know, it means the same thing. So it's confused me since we started playing this game. But, you know, the missions where we um, we have to do it before we can unlock the Dreadnought and stuff. You know the ones. Anyway, let's execute this guy. Alright, he was very executed. Good. Alright, we do need to get some kills with our ranged attacks. Your orders? 
At your service. At your service. Alright, well, let's full strike this guy. We'll get the seed out of him the old fashioned way. Alright, out of boy. Seed extracted. And good full strike again for a guarantee. Uh, yeah, go then. Okay, good. Now, I mean, this is incredible. If only we could. Uh... Actually, we might be able to ignore his armor and kill him in one hit. We have a 60% chance to kill him in one go. And we nailed it. Just so good. So good. Uh, same with this guy. And we can actually guarantee it. So go kill him now. boy. So that's everybody dead. Brilliant. Okay, so we do have to go around one way or the other. So I guess we are destroying one bloom spawn no matter what we do. Um, that's if we want to get the Dreadnought in here. I could always... Now this is the exciting thing about this game. Is I could literally use Gate of Infinity to teleport here. You know, just with Cadrus. Move in and then teleport everybody onto the Bloom Spreader. Um, it will mean that I won't have the Dreadnought anywhere near them. But it would mean I'd be able to wrap this up quite comfortably within one episode. <laughs> which is quite nice. I think we could do it anyway if we just run that way though. Oh god, you just blow something up. Nothing important, but fine. God. <laughs> oh no, he destroys the bridges? Oh crap, does that mean he can't get across? I'm not sure he can even get across here. So that's all pointless. Would he be able to go around this way? Yeah? No. No, bridge is there too. Okay, so th this map, Dreadnoughts can't really participate. That's disappointing. Okay, fine. Let's just teleport then, shall we? Bizarre. I mean, we'll see next turn. We'll see next turn if we can get across. Surely we hunt them. Sure do. Uh, Alright, are there any more of those vents that we can reach? Your command. There's one over here. Advancing! Alright, go grab that. Alright, jobs are good. Blue rising. And, uh, okay, it says he can get across here. Is that true? I just don't know, but we're going to find out. Oh, no, he can get across here. Oh, okay. Well, now I don't know what to think. Oh, we can't smash through here, because that's raised. Ah, oh, so we would need to go through there with him. That's a pity. Well, now I don't know what to do. I mean, I could run up here and then teleport everyone down here. That is something I am capable of doing. I mean, I can use a load more willpower too, it doesn't matter. We have so many ways to grant him more willpower now. And, and we can do it twice now, right? In fact, I wonder how the plus one use works. Because it's not really telling me that they all have two uses. So I don't know if it's just you get to use one of them additional one time. Again, I still have never used that tech before, so I'm not sure. But that's okay. Uh, okay, you can move here, but not there. Sure. So, you can continue to move. Can't go through that, though. Can't, can't walk through a Lehman Rust, apparently. But we might spot them here, and then I can teleport over. Oh, no, nope, we didn't see him. Unleash me. Alright, you guys want to run over here? What I could have even done is had them go over there, and just the three of them could have done that. Because I do actually believe that Storm could probably take that out on his own and then teleport away. There would be a bunch of other men running around there, though, which would mean we'd never actually wrap up the encounter, so we'd never get our AP back. Oh well. Oh, hello. Hi. Well, I mean, I'll hear you, but the despair bit, I'll pass.
<gasps> oh no! My shipping container. How will I get my Amazon Prime packages now? So, what I can do, straight away, twin Lazcan and this guy, astral aim to shoot his uh, shield off, walk up to him and then stun him. I can even start stunning him now, but now I need to destroy the plague shield first. <laughs> Just shoot his arm clean up. I don't like what you do with that arm. I'm keeping it. Oh, we found a tree. Sorry, a null more. Done. Okay. Let's go. Brilliant. He got his AP back, so he still hasn't spent any AP. And now he's about to get three for the price of one. Nice. Everyone else is looking good. Uh, right. Standing ready. Could kill a Nalmor. There's a lot of things I could kill. I could kill him. Um. Oh, really? That's disappointing. Look how close he is. Look how close he is to get to these guys. So how many kills have we got with ranged weapons so far? Is it none? I think it might be none. I think we're probably going to lose out on that thing. That thingamajig. I got the seed out of him. I've claimed a seed. Yeah, sure have. Uh, I probably got the crit. Oh yeah, you got the crit, all right. Um, save his range of weapon, so I can walk away if I want to. We just got more AP back. Marvelous. I am here to serve. So shoot him. Denounce. Okay, that's one. We are the yep, yep, that's one. Oh no. Uh, could start whittling him down with that. We do have a lot of AP. Uh, armor break is always a good start. Very nice. Now, can I do... Oh, can I do nine damage? Yeah, usually. Yeah, and he just got more AP back. Nice. Uh, oh, only a 15% chance to kill him. That'll still be a kill with a ranged weapon, though, won't it? I have to assume so, right? Gotta assume so. Well. Yeah. Good. Uh, I mean, as long as I can kill this thing, I'll get the AP to wander off, so we don't have to worry too much. It will be done. Yeah, extra damage. Good. And yeah, we could do that again, and then I'll just shoot it. Whoops. I accidentally did too much damage. Shouldn't have bothered with the force strike. <laughs> Whoops. Oopsie doopsie. Uh, Alright, you don't have any willpower. That doesn't matter. Don't worry. Uh, Target Knight recovers all willpower. Okay, good. Atta boy. Let's have another look. Uh, yeah, we can do that again. Uh, I think we're going to do the crit thing, and then I'm going to check to see if I can grant someone else all that willpower and see if it's, it's just two uses on each. Because it's weird that it doesn't seem to keep track of how many times you've used any of these. Which has me a little concerned that I'm not going to have a bloody clue what is going on when it happens. So let's get over here. Activate that final pod. Teleport on top of it. Murder everybody. Hopefully kill a lot. Oh good, there's a lot to shoot. Alright, we might get the ranged kills. It's it's a little, little slim. Little slim chance, but... I reckon we can do it. I also do think that when we kill that thing, it does end the mission. I think. Unstable mode disruption detected. Demons. Nurgle will not give up this ground so easily. Destroy that Bloomspawn now. Well, that is the plan. Don't worry. And reinforcements are coming. Fun. Yeah, creepy. Yeah, I always forget how these missions end. I know, I've done several of them. But uh, I've got a mind like a sieve. So, uh, 
There's a teleport down here. It's quite far away from most of the enemies. Not the thing that we need to kill, though. So it really is just a challenge of can we shoot it? There's a lot of enemies here. There's a lot of enemies here. So it is it is possible. It is possible. So I can um I can shoot his shield off. Of course. That really is the only option I have, isn't it? I mean I don't have any disruptor skulls. So he is going to have to use that. But we can give Dool a bunch of extra AP. So that's nice. Also, uh, let's do this thing for extra bits for everybody. Okay, good. And I know I'm still going to use Astrolabe because I need to target specific you know, body parts, but still. Okay, there it goes. Destroyed his cover as well, which is handy. Very handy indeed. Uh, I am here next, to let's see. Right, we're going to do that. We're going to force strike. Yes. We're going to finish him off with a gun. Uh, send his melee weapon, please. Okay, now get back up and be very vulnerable to getting shot, please. I must meditate. Eight Raise health. The well, that's okay, because I am going to kill him with a grip. So it won't matter. Let's see. Not a problem. Uh, now I'm going to move over here and try and do the same. Yeah, we've only got one. God. He can't even force strike. He doesn't have to. I don't know why I was trying to. I guess it does do a bit of extra damage, though, doesn't it? So we're going to make him crazed. Oh. Oh, hello. Well, that's unexpected. It's the architect bunch. Enemy sighted. Yeah, don't worry about that. Right, what is your will? All right, let's shoot him now. Again, we'll get the crit, so we're good. So there goes another. So the he does have auto you. resurrect. Doesn't matter. How much health does this thing have anyway? Sixty-eight. Wow, that's going to take some doing. Uh, I'm going to could dominate this thing. Could dominate him. That'd be fun. Let's see. One more AP. Uh, how are we doing on those kills? We need five more. One, two, three, four, five. We need to kill all of them. All this one, actually. We could leave one of these alive. Uh, 30 makes him quite the damage sponge. So we'll probably leave him alive and just kill the rest. He's still got plenty. We've got two actions left. He's still got three. So he could probably take this down pretty easily. If I force... Right, that doesn't do any extra crit damage, does it? No, it does have extra stun though, which is kind of cute. Uh, right, you just start wailing. Getting plus two damage on every crit against these guys, which is pretty good. But, still got a lot of health, you know? Awful lot of health. The okay. Lights our path. So that's, you know, that's that. What is your will? All right, let's uh, hit this guy. Taking position. So we're gonna get rid of his melee weapon. Right then, uh, I'm gonna dominate this guy. I reckon, because then he won't be able to attack me when I run past it. Although he'll need AP, and My he will need AP. They're both going to need extra AP to manage this. So let's see. Can give him the AP. Your orders? So he could also shoot things. Could he get... No, he can't get the cyborgs, obviously. He's not going to get any kills Standing either, which is a ready. problem. Uh, if I go with a psychic onslaught, he's not quite going to die either, which is very disappointing. Gutting. Alright, well you can finish that. Oh, actually, kind of will... Because he'll shoot. No, he won't. He's done that already, apparently. Alright, we're just going to shoot. Uh, with the crit, we might get another AP, but I think we already got the extra AP from him. So I'm not sure that's going to fly. Your course. So let's see. We've got four more enemies to kill. I'm just not sure that's going to fly, you know. Because let's see. we got... 
Oh. Interesting. So we can't use this one again. But we can use this one again. So is it the first one we use? Or did we already give someone extra AP? Well, it seems we can't use all of them twice. That's not how that works. Which is a shame. Although that would be wild. Though it is also quite hard to keep track of what the hell. That all does. So, okay, Standing we're not going to get the four ranged kills. Is basically the long and short of this. So, uh, we're going to... Sadly... Oh, no, no, no worries. We can we can get past him. Uh, we're just going to kill this thing. I know, it's a pity. Job well done, Commander. The Plague God will rage at our victory today. Yeah, I'm sad. I'm sad. I wanted I wanted to get the ranged kills. I wanted to get the ranged kills. Just couldn't get them in time. But when the option of, oh, we can't do the objective uh, or kill like a hundred guys in a single turn, we could just win. Yeah, that's always an option. We'll just, we'll just win. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. So, yeah, we're, I think our party is a bit too good. It's only getting better. Kind of love it. Lost, lost a requisition. We only have 20 now. What are we going to do? We can't afford all this awesome stuff. Gutted. Alright, I'll level up. Ooh, wow. Okay, that was actually a pretty handsome amount of experience there. Awesome. I think one more mission, we probably will max out. That's cool. So now we're just sort of loitering. Where are we going to go now? We don't need architect. Uh, I now loiter on this planet. It's got a little red thing. Getting some more red would be nice, because there is a there is a weapon that we aren't making use of. We got that really good um, uh, psi cannon that does like a ludicrous amount of damage that we can't utilize right now because we can't upgrade it, which is very sad. So it would be nice if we get another mission, get some red seeds. And I know, is standing there going to somehow make a mission appear there? No. But I can try. Uh, so although the Empire has supplied you with vastly superior physiology, there are still limits to what you can endure. However, by studying how the Tentara strain manifests new deformities, I have seen how we might shock a fallen brother back into action. Just give him a, give him a little startle. Just shout boo, psychically. A little psychic boo. Uh, let us use our enemy's tools against them and bring back what was deemed lost. That sounds very, very suspect. Alright, this one next. And then we'll be able to do this one, and then the boss one. Almost there. Psy Booster. Oh cool, plus one willpower for Solor, that's pretty good. I like that. Commander, I am pleased to report that Brother Lucan Solor has recovered from his critical wounds, and can now return to combat duty. Due to his injury, we need to install the Augmetic Psy Booster, and the Chief Apothecary estimates he will require 14 days to fully recover strength. Cool. Now what about our Apothecary? Uh, a knee joint. What does that do? Doesn't say what it does. Did that give him extra, like, speed? Because that'd be cool if we gave him extra movement. I'd enjoy that. No, plus 5% focus. Oh, okay. I mean, it says it there in giant writing. Yeah, I should have probably seen that. Um, that's kind of cool. That that gives him some potential. Because, yeah, he gets um, extra AP from crits. Like most of our guys seem to. So, Commander, I'm pleased to report that Brother Ajir Han has recovered from his critical wounds and can return to combat duty. Due to his injury, we need to install the automatic enhanced knee joint and the chief apothecary, which I'm pretty sure is Han, actually, um, estimates it'll take 14 days to recover. Try to give himself a holiday so he can. Yeah, I don't know what he'd want a holiday from. He seems to love chopping people in half. So, I have concluded my further studies into Astartes physiology. You are fascinating specimens, truly works of the Emperor. In any event, I am confident that I can support even a ravaged knight's recovery should you require it of me. 
Alright, our final technology before we do the final technology. Yes, that makes sense. Shush. I don't injuries. Most of our injuries are done as well. I see everyone's looking great again. And we have some bloom spawn missions. There's a technophage one. There's one up there. And there's one down here. None of these are anything. I, d I don't care. <laughs> like, none of these are a threat. None of these are a problem. Are we going to actually just do no missions? Should we actually just do no missions? I think that might be what we're going to do, actually. I think we might just do no missions in this wave. Although we do want one more mission to get What's-His-Face to max level, don't we? So I guess I'll do one more Technophage mission. What's this? Seed Carriers? Uh, 20 Servitors for doing that as well. I mean, that's quite good. So, okay, we'll do that. That way we can at least go out with our um, Dreadnought one more time. Because that'll probably be the last time we see him. That last mission we did feels like a bit of a crappy end um, for the Dreadnought. You know, not really a mission he had much opportunity to shine in. So this this will be the finale for him. None of this other stuff matters. Although, Grandma's report coming in a few days. I might let that happen before I do it so we can actually get some requisition at the end of it. We might be able to get something, um, something good out of it. You never know. You never know. Right, do I also want to send a frigate off to go do things? I don't know. I'm not sure. Mia. Could have sent a bunch of whoever's. Malchus. Just send them. I mean, pretty high chance of win. I don't really want Crow getting injured again, but, um,. I mean, people recover so quickly, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, you guys go have fun, I guess? Yeah, we'll do that. Might as well. Might as well. I mean, yeah, it's whatever. Get some requisition out of it, I suppose. And that one. Grimoires. Don't really need grimoires. We're kind of fine. So, cool. Now, let's wait a second. Intervention required. Interesting. Warning. Detonation detected. Damage reported on subjects 37 through 39. We are not under fire. Was it an accident? Cogitating. Significant sensor tampering identified near the blast site. Sabotage? On a Great Knight strike ship? How is that possible? Your brothers may be above suspicion, but the edict houses thousands of serfs and crew. Update. Sabotage reports deficiencies in the Bloom Seed inventory and... What? Those are my seats. Commander, your crew is compromised. We must exercise swift justice. The Edict can't operate without its crew, Inquisitor. Investigation required. Recommend upgrading surveillance systems and increase active patrols. That will take time. We could send a squad of knights to investigate immediately. Your brothers are ill-suited to such a task, Purifier. I will volunteer to hunt the culprits myself, though it will delay my ongoing research. Uh, purge all crew. Just kill everyone. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be severely impaired at operations. Uh, let's upgrade the space system. We've got loads of requisition. Devices requisition from the Adeptus Arbites. Uh, that's fun. Like that. Nice that the, uh, RBTs are getting a, getting a mention. They're basically the, um, uh, space police. <laughs> basically. They don't get much of a mention. Uh, these days. Although it does look like they might be coming back. There are some rumours that we might be seeing some Adeptus RBCs, like coming back into the you know, game of 40k at some point as a new new playable bunch. Which I think makes sense. A lot of the uh, factions now that are being added feel a bit more domestic. Um, like the Gene Stealer cults, for instance. You know? And who would they be fighting? Like, sure, the PDF, so you got some Imperial Guard, but like, yeah, like the RBCs and stuff, Space Police, they're going to be they're going to be there with their little little police fortresses. So I think it makes sense to see them soon. But anyway, uh, loss of requisition, construction speeds can slow down, whatever. Now let's wait for the Grandmaster's report before we do this. Here we go. My prognosticars report that you have yet been unable to make further progress against these Reapers. 
Though the augurs fail to mention her by name, my suspicion is that it is this Inquisitor who hinders your operations. What say you? Uh, I'm not going to blame her because then it will be her fault because her research speed will suddenly be like cut in half. So no, I'll just say it's me, don't worry about it. Although if I say it's me, don't worry about it. He might just say, okay, I'm cutting off a requisition, in which case waiting those three days is pointless. Uh, or I could just say, no, stop it. <laughs> just, just like, just leave it, mate. I might do that. I might just say you expect too much. Do not whine, come on. I'll reload. Classic. All right, get out of here. I don't care. Get out of here, Kai. Jerk. I thought that might happen. Uh, right. So anyway, I guess we'll do the mission. 20 more servitors. Lovely. And yeah, we're not going to take that damage, so we'll get the extra requisition, which would be super useful. <laughs> it's going to be so useful. <laughs> right, this will do. So guys, this is the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, comment, like, subscribe. Beginning the end, okay? We're almost done. One more research. You know, the next research we research will be the beginning of the end of the game. So we'll just be boss fight, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight, events, explosions, boss fights, and merriment. It's going to be great. So, one more mission, guys. Once more, into the breach. Brilliant. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.